Hi everybody, Cindy Ellers here from Cindy's Stamping Studio and welcome. Today's date is April 18th, 2022 and I am happy to be here for my weekly Facebook Live. So as I wait for some people to hop on and I see they're already hopping on, I will find myself I see Julie Mullins, and there's Sandy Schumacher. Yes, nice to see you, and welcome. Like I said, I'll find me on my Kindle here. Oh, there I am. There we are. And there's Courtney, and Sally, and Denise. Hello. Nice to see you all. It's been a very dreary day today in central Wisconsin. I joke and say, what is this, the third winter? It feels like it. But you know, really, we've been so spoiled through the years of having an early spring that this is a real spring, I think, because I remember 42 years ago, we had one day, it was on a Saturday, one day it was beautiful. And from then till the 1st of May, it snowed and rained, and it was yucky. So, yep. Hi, Bernie. Nice to see you. Thank you, everybody, for sharing. That means the world to me. Now, if you're wondering, snow all day today. Thank you, Ronnie. Nice to see you. Anyway, if you're wondering why I know 42 years ago that it was a nice day, on that Saturday was because tomorrow is Jim and mine wedding anniversary. We'll be married 42 years tomorrow. So that's pretty good in this day and age, I think. Okay, well, I don't have to even tell you. You've been sharing my video like crazy now, and I makes me so happy. I appreciate you all. Hi, Tracy, and there's Renee. Yes, that's wonderful. Okay. Um, if you don't get a chance to watch the whole video or something goes wrong, always know that you can catch the replay always on my Facebook business page, but also on my blog. And also on my blog, it's like my landing page for everything I have going on, from my classes to the stamp of the month, if you need to get in touch with me, there's a place on the right-hand side that goes and lets you send me an email, and it's it co comes right to me. So, yeah. Well, thank you, Jeannie, and thank you, everybody, for the congratulations. I'll be sure to tell Jim that. And let's see. Um, I'm also on YouTube. So if you haven't found me yet on YouTube, it's either under Cindy Ellers, you can find me, or Cindy Stamping Studio, you can find me there too. So, oh, it's still snowing on the lake shore. Wow, that isn't nice, right? Let's see if there's anybody else I recognize. I don't think so. When people change their pictures, that's when I have kind of an issue because a lot of the, the pictures are only about like that big, but some of them I recognize right away. Okay, what we have happening this week, I'm getting ready for my kit class that's coming up um, a week from tomorrow on Tuesday, the 26th of April is our kit class. Now the class to go is still going on and I'll show you those cards tonight in case you forgot or didn't know for sure if you were interested in um, uh, participating. It's a great deal and I think you'd really like it. So hi Bonnie and Kay. Nice to see you. So happy to see you, actually. And also this week, I'm going to be working on the stamp of the month. So last week, the stamp set that I made was the Flowering Rain Boots. Well, that's the stamp set that won for the stamp of the month. So we'll have four completely new cards that I'm going to design. And um, 
will have that and if you're interested in that I'll explain that to you in a little bit so let's see what else do I I received some cards this week they are gorgeous and I can't wait to share those with you also and prizes let's look and see if I can find them I can I think there's one and not quite sure. I know I drew the name, but I don't see the prize. But that's okay. I have I have other prizes. There's Debbie Vine. Yes. Okay, so let's see. Let's do our door prizes. Okay, I don't need this. Door prizes for this week are for comments. We have Kathy Brost. And Kathy is going to receive um, the Eden uh, Designer Series paper. There's enough uh, uh, Designer Series paper to make about eight cards. So I'm sure she'll like that. And Kay got her prize already. How nice. And you're very welcome. So Kathy got her prize for comments. Now, for sharing. Now, sharing is the easiest way to win a door prize around here because last week, not that many people shared. So, for sharing, this, these, um, evening evergreen self-adhesive rhinestones are going to go to Courtney Austin Darp from North Carolina. So, Courtney, you're going to be getting these rhinestones, and Kathy Brost, you're going to be getting some designer series paper. So, congratulations, lady, and thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in. You make my day when I start seeing your familiar faces popping up and everything. And I don't think Courtney is on right now, which is surprising because she usually is. So, okay, I have things to show you now. Let us, oh, before I switch the camera around, my paper share, I don't know if you've gotten your new catalog yet. That'll be going live on May 3rd. Now, I always offer a paper share, and that's where I take every designer series paper that's in the new catalog except for the color collection that's not in there but we're looking at um 84 six by six squares of designer series paper so you're going to get a nice sample of every single one of them and i am selling those for 30 dollars a piece and if you need them sent to you, add $5. Yes. Oh, cool. Courtney is here. She must have heard her name. Favorite colors. Oh, that's wonderful. I'm glad you'll use them. So if there's anybody, I'm taking names for the second paper share. My first paper share is full. But if you're interested in a, in a you didn't sign up the first time, but now you're interested, let me know. And I will get you, and I'll start taking names. And once I have eight names, because it takes eight ladies to um, for the paper share, I will contact you all, and then you can send me the $35. $30 if you're local. Okay? All right. Put that there. Now, I'll flip my camera around, and I can show you the beautiful cards that I got this week. And... The class to go cards. Okay, so let's see. Right here. Now you can see how dreary it is. Yes, just terrible. Okay, let me raise this up some. That's pretty good. I need to move it closer. What I have here is the cutest thing one of my stamping ladies and she's watching right now and um deb fine made me this may basket 
Now look at this. It's just a paper bag that she um, she cut, you know, fancy cut the edges and then made this beautiful little May basket. I had, she won the door prize at our um, technique class and took the Calming Camellia stamp set and decorated it, right? But then she also made these gorgeous cards. Isn't that beautiful? I just love this um, on the Mary Merlot and the Fresh Freesia, I believe. And here's this one, pretty close to being the same. Here it is in Misty Moonlight. And here it is in Evening Evergreen and Soft Succulents. It's just gorgeous. And I never thought to go on like a tone on tone with a little wink of Stella. What a beautiful, what a beautiful uh, cards you have. This one I don't think she... The, oh, it was backwards. She didn't stamp it, so I'll be able to stamp it. She decorated a lot of the envelopes. And this one, she decorated the envelope. So, yeah, how pretty is this? So, what a great, what a neat idea to make a May basket like this. Right? So, um... This might be something you'd want to go and make for yourself. Or if you knew somebody that's housebound, I think it would be a great gift. Something I want to tell you about and remind you, if you're interested, the I do have the PDF file for the color coach of the new in colors, the Orchid Oasis, Parakeet Party, Starry Sky, Sweet Sorbet, and Tahitian Tide. But then, of course, I have all the other colors, too. So if you're interested, pop me an email. And you know my email address is budy98 at yahoo.com. Okay, we'll put that aside. Cards. I got this card today. Isn't it pretty? got this from my very good friend Jan in Wisconsin Rapids. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? A fancy fold using designer series paper. We have our base. That's a very, and she decorated the envelope. Very pretty. Thank you, Jan. I got this little cutie last Tuesday night at Technique class from Rita Jacoby. And I got this card. Oh, I got that card too. I got this card from Jan in Wisconsin Rapids. Another fancy fold. It's an anniversary card for me and Jim. She knows how outdoorsy we are. And then this card I got yesterday. And that card came... And she was so sneaky about it. Um, we went for Easter dinner at our son's place. And um, Andy made this. And I always... Oh, shoot. I can't find me. Hmm. Well, just start over. I always give her my scraps... And she made this beautiful anniversary card. Wishing you every happiness this special day will bring for a special couple. Happy anniversary. So that was very nice. But I thank everybody for the cards I got this week. They were all so pretty. Okay, now I can share with you... Um. Wow, isn't that interesting? Well, there I am. There we go. Huh. Yes, Andy's card's beautiful. Yes, it is, Courtney. 
She's very talented. Now here are the class to go cards. If you're interested, uh, five cards for seven, 10 cards for 12, 15 cards for 17. Any combination. You like two of this one, three of that one, five of all the same, or three of each. You know, um, pick out your five favorite, make three of each. That would make 15. So here's this card, Rain or Shine, I'm here for you. It is, this will make a beautiful birthday card. And here's a Thinking of You card. Relax and enjoy your day. Everybody needs to be thinking of you once in a while. I made this beautiful sympathy card, and that uses a retiring prized peony. Very simple. Here is our sentimental swirls. A cute little birthday card. Here's an elegant birthday card. And this card, people might not think it's that pretty or great, but this is a congratulations card. And adventure awaits. Let your dreams set sail. It's going to make a wonderful graduation card. Okay. And the last one is, hey, friend, I believe it's a birthday, sending sunshine for a beautiful birthday. I thought that was so very pretty with our retiring Pansy Designer Series paper. Um, this one used the, uses the retiring on the horizon papers. This one uses symbol of fortune. It's, all these papers are retiring. This is the heart and home. I don't know, did you realize when you turned the heart and home paper on the other side, it was all these beautiful wood grain designs. So I've, I really enjoyed that. And our happy birthday, thinking of you, again, that one uses the new horizon, and rain or shine, that one uses our abstract beauty. So if you're interested, pop me an email, buddy98 at yahoo.com. Okay, moving along, as I mentioned, hi Patty. Nice to see you here. Our stamp of the month ended up being Flowering Rain Boots. Now this um, stamp of the month costs $24. And that's um, ordering the stamp set from me. Includes the sales tax and the shipping from Stamping Up. You remember that Flowering Rain Boots has the rain boot dies. If you ordered the bundle from me, I throw in the four card um, kits, and it's four cards with everything you need to make your to make four cards using your new stamp set. So many times people will say to me, "I don't know what to do with these um, new stamp sets that I get." Well, this is the perfect way to get going and learn. Okay, all right, that's that. If you're interested, pop me an email, buddy98 at yahoo.com. Okay, we are making a fun card tonight. We're going to use the flowering tulips and the fl uh, tulip dies. Oh, I should mention, with the flowering rain boots, you get in on my $15 shopping spree for outside orders. So, make sh if you're interested, I can help you out. Okay. And I just had to make myself a quick, a quick note. All right, so tonight's set, flowering tulips, not to, be cons not to be confused with flowering rain boots, right? Okay, we are also going to use the tulip dies. These dies are 
um, can be intimidating, but it seems like the more you use them, the better you get, especially if you look at YouTube to get ideas. Okay, we're going to make a double Z fold card. And I, it wasn't that hard to make it all. I was really happy with how it turned out, actually. Our colors tonight. Let me get situated here. We've got, we're going to be using Early Espresso. We're going to use Pear Pizzazz. Petal Pink. That's all faded on me. The cover, that is. <laughs> and um, Poppy Parade. Poppy Parade has been one of the colors that, for some unknown reason, I don't use it that much. And I don't know why. I like reds. It's just kind of a color that, I don't know, I don't use it that much. And Petal Pink. It's not my favorite color, but I have found that I am using it more and more. So that's a good thing. Oh, let's see if I forgot anything. Oh, I know she's not watching tonight. At least I didn't see her, but she could be. And today is my mom's birthday. So happy birthday, mom. I wanted to make sure I mentioned that. Almost forgot. I also want to mention, if you place an order with me, an outside order, that is, you, your name, I mean, you will receive this whole package of iridescent rhinestones. You can use my host code. Um, once you pay, place a $50 order with me, I will send these to you. That's my way of thanking you. That's my special. Okay. Here's our kit. I have it all paper clipped because um, I didn't want to lose how you do this. You're going to need some white scraps. You're, and my base, I'm going to put this aside. Take it all apart for you. Put that there. Is a pool party color. And it's four and a half, four and a half by eight and a half. We score it at two and eight and four and a quarter. Okay, so when we open it, it's going to go like that. Okay, all right. So let's, and then this goes on the inside. I'm a good one. I don't know about you guys, but when um, you make a card, do you lay it all out? I do, because rather than stamp it and put it together and make a mistake, I like to have everything. I don't want any surprises. Okay. Okay, so we're going to use these dies. And we're going to use the um, tulip flowering fields designer series paper which i love it's so pretty okay let me get my stamps lined up here and my paper piercing for my stamping i have all my stuff in here okay I even went and wrote me notes so that I would know what to, how to stamp it. Okay, so there's one. Uh, it's right here. Okay. And it falls off. Well, we're going to use it right away. We're going to use this one first. And um, Poppy Parade right here. And I need more room. There we go. All right, we're getting there. Okay, so first we're going to take a scrap of white and our first stamp set. 
we're going to stamp two of the tulips that are this size. I believe I can get them just like so. Okay, in Poppy Parade. Then we're going to come with, i got to cover this up. Then we're going to come with our petal pink and stamp it the second with that. We'll stamp that. i got to be able to see what I'm doing. Okay. There's the petal pink. I really like the photopolymer stamp sets. That way I can see where I am, what I'm doing. It's always a challenge, right? A little bit of early espresso. And we'll stamp the centers in our tulips. Like so. Okay. Now I'm going to put that aside. And now I want one. I want one of the there. I want the smaller tulip and that one's going to go right here like so and then I'll be done with the pop parade. Put that off to the side. Oh, I've got a little visitor in here. That's my Ted. Then we'll take the uh, tulip. Hi, Kathy. Oh, were your, was your ears burning? I think you're just tuning in. But you won my door prize for... Um, oh, what was it for? You won a door prize for comments so i will show you i have here a packet of designer series paper that i'm going to send to you there's enough paper it's the eden's garden designer series paper with gold accents there's enough paper in here to make about eight cards so they'll be put in the mail tomorrow for you okay I have some more scraps I need to cover up my pink and get the green out and right here we're gonna go and and stamp a leaf for our flowers Okay, now I did not, I know, usually I have these all cut out already, but I didn't tonight. I wanted to cut them out using my, my little stamping up, I guess they call it the Baby Boss. It's really pretty cute, and I need... need my plates and I'm gonna go <laughs> I don't see my leaf well, I'll have to get that one just a second I'm gonna cut out the tulips so we have our our little tulip but I do have I do have some washi tape here. If you ever, if you don't, I don't have a, there's not a magnetic, I picked a bad tape. Okay. 
All you need to do is tape that down and then we're going to go and cut our other flower out. And I was so, you know, I, w I didn't think I needed this, but I'm glad I got it. It really is quite durable. It is quite handy. I have it sitting right on my desk. doesn't take a lot of space. And it, it does a good job, which made me happy. Okay, and here's the other tulip. Now... Let us go and cut the other one out. There, like so. I don't know what happened to my leaf. Let me see, where's my Flowery tulips. Well, it must be floating around here someplace. Hard to say. We won't worry about it. We don't really need the leaf. We need the flowers, though. Okay. Got them all cut out. Alrighty, well, so we got our three flowers all cut out. I gotta put these someplace I won't lose them. All right, so we'll go back to our card, right? So now we're gonna go and take our designer paper. Okay, and we can start. We are going to put some right there. That paper is going to be two by four. Apparently I didn't cut, boy, I am really, I really was two by four. That goes right there. And then will that one fit there? Yep. I bet you I got, maybe because of, oh, we only needed one. Maybe because of the holiday or something. I was, we just finished, or because of maple syrup. I bet you that's what it was. We just finished up our maple syrup, the cooking, and now we're bottling. So... It's kind of, it's been like Grand Central Station here. It was actually nice to have a holiday so that we could relax. And I have to share with you, I went and, um, I went and took a nap on, what day was that? Wednesday last week. I was just dragging. I think everything really just caught up with me. I'm going to take early espresso. And I'm going to go and stamp that right there. Because we need to have that there. Perfect. 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 Okay. All right, so now we can go oh the other beagle has found it's they don't like a closed door and they let me know a 
Okay, so we're going to put our... That's perfect. Okay. Here's our Z fold. It is two and eighth by four and a quarter. No, the long strip, one and a quarter by eight and a quarter. One and a quarter by eight and a quarter. And then it's scored at. That's my hair. Then it is scored at four and an eighth and six and a quarter. That's what creates our Z. Okay, and we're gonna go and um, glue that right down. We're going to go and put some designer paper on it. Of course, I made it too long, and I do that on purpose. Figure I can always cut it out. I can't always um, add more paper on the end once it's been cut, right? Okay, get my scissors here. We'll just cut this off with my snips. Okay, so that's there. And we're going to go and put a little white piece right there. That's going to go right there. And then we're going to take our other little piece, and that's going to go right there. Good way to use up those scraps. If, be sure to tune into my blog on Thursday where I will give you all the dimensions, a written tutorial, so you can make one of these cards for your very own. Okay, so it goes right like that. Okay. We're going to put a little glue on there. Just like so. And we'll hold it down. And then we're going to go and put just a little bit. And that will go right there. Okay. So now it's going to open like that. Okay. So now we're going to take our greeting and we're going to stamp that on our little white piece like so. Just thinking of you today. Isn't that cute? All right. Now I am almost done. We're going to take our little flower and put him right there. Just put a little glue on the one side. Love all the colors. Yes, it's very pretty. In. And then, okay, so you see my birthday is, so how's that going to look, right? Okay, we'll fix that. So we just want to put a little bit of glue. And that's going to go. Just like so. See? And then I showed you this die earlier. It cuts out a whole row of tulips. And I've done that already. And all I did was used a piece of the designer series paper, but I did it sideways. But I wanted all the colors. And what we're going to do is put that right there. Put that just like so. And 
and whoopsie. Then we could cut it off because we don't need this piece. So now we have this and let me get my dimensionals just to add a little bit of pretty or texture, I guess you'd want to call it. Okay, we will. Ooh, I'm running late today. I think I was um, I had a lot to say for a change, huh? We're going to put this one right like that. Okay, we're not quite done, but almost. Bear with me. Let me cover this up so I don't forget. I get my take your pick tool and my rhinestones. And I'm going to go and put... A rhinestone right here and a rhinestone right there perfect you don't need a lot less is best that's what I say and here's our card isn't that cute no one deserves a happier birthday than you just thinking of you today I think that turned out so pretty I just love it. Okay. So, of course, we had a couple of snafus, but it wasn't bad. And, like I said, I'll have a written tutorial for you on my blog on Thursday. So, thank you, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you all. Have a good rest of the week. And happy stamping. We'll see you next Monday. I'll be here on April 25th with another stamp set. I think I, I also have some more cards to show you. I've been working on um, the new, working with the new colors so that I can show people just how pretty they are. So, okay. If you're interested in the paper share, let me know. Take care, everybody. Have a great week. Thank you.